Police officers serve and protect our communities and put their lives on the line to keep our communities safe. But where do these first responders go when the pressures of their profession take a toll? I've seen kids lose their lives, teenagers, uh, adults, uh, brothers, sisters, mothers, daughters. With harrowing accounts and near-death experiences, some police officers may be reluctant to reach out for help. We're the ones usually providing help. It's very hard for um, an officer sometimes to go ask for help. Providing a safe haven, the Office of Employee Safety and Assistance has a 24-hour line to call in case of a critical incident on or off the job. We're, we're a tight family here, whether it be the Newhall office or police officers in general. Um, we can always see if one of our brothers or sisters do need help, and we do go help them, whether it be personal, one-on-one, -on -one, or guiding them to, to the right direction. According to officials, approximately 15% of police officers in the U.S. and globally experience symptoms of PTSD. Numbers can be much higher based on exposure. There's no guarantee of me coming home or an officer coming home. Um, it's like that in a lot of the frontline workers. Reporting live for Canyons News, I'm Vanessa Rope.